Now, as you will have heard in the headlines from Shafali, it is officially the last day of summer, in weather terms at least. So let's get the forecast from Chef, who is out on the balcony, the last rays of summer, Chef. I know, it's getting darker already, Mary. Yes, why not? It is the end of summer, after all, and tomorrow is the autumn equinox, the first day of autumn. And we have gone out with a bang, because, of course, today we had plenty of sunshine, especially if you were up at the crack of dawn before the cloud had chance to build up. Now, that sunny start came off the back of a clear night when some of our weather watchers had the chance to see last night's full harvest moon and in all its glory, and what a spectacle it was, as you can see from one of those pictures. But it's been a varied day. We've had cloudier skies, we've also had bluer, sunnier skies and at times hazy skies where the cloud wasn't thick enough to completely block out the sunshine. We had some mist pockets as well this morning, which has been a bit of a theme this week and will continue to be so through the rest of the week. If you take a look at our outlook then, it is looking largely settled, but on Thursday we could see a bit of patchy rain, cloudier conditions and it may be a bit cooler as well with the breeze picking up by the time we get to tomorrow. Look at our pressure chart and you can see that strip of rain which is the cold front sitting out to the north as it slowly progresses southwards. Tomorrow it's going to push a little bit more in the way of cloud our way and then that rain comes through on Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Uh, but uh, it is going to be a high pressure week this week mostly and that's our constant companion which is actually keeping things dry right now and right through the night. Again we're going to see lots of clear sky across us, um, just a little bit of cloud nibbling away at the northwestern uh, fringes and also the west of the region and that's our cold front pushing that cloud further south. So uh, we could see some pockets of mist and fog once again into the morning tomorrow but temperatures are on the chillier side tonight down to about 8 or 9 Celsius and then those temperatures race back upwards to about 20 to 21 Celsius tomorrow. Now as I've said the average for this time of year is now 18 to 19 Celsius so we're doing better than average and we've got lots of sunshine to look forward to tomorrow. There will be more in the way of cloud through the afternoon. It stays dry but that cloud is just a thin veil. And then, as we come to tomorrow night into Thursday, a bit of patchy rain, not much. Uh, more in the way of cloud through Thursday, but it's still fairly pleasant with temperatures still around 20. Oh, thank, thank you very much, Shafali. Now, just to let you know, on tomorrow's programme, we'll be looking at the energy crisis. Are you worried about switching supplies or the potential of rising bills? We'll be answering your questions, uh, so do get in touch. You can email us midlandstoday at bbc.co.uk. That's it for now. I'll be back with your late update just before 10.30. Have a good evening.